Okay, so to start us off for homework number 15, I've got a couple notes for us here. And so one thing to understand is the things that we've been working with, like the x squared, blah, 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 and doing all this factoring and that kind of stuff. Uh, if we were to graph, it would produce what we call a parabola. And so either a sad face or a happy face, like we see uh, in that first row there. And so uh, the other thing to understand is that those red dots, so that red dot right there, and that red dot right there are what we call the vertex of a parabola, which is basically the highest point or the lowest point um, on that parabola. And so you can kind of think about it like an arrow pointing up or an arrow pointing down. These would actually be absolute value functions. And so while we're when we're graphing quadratics, we want to make sure that, that these ends are rounded. But just for demonstration purposes, what we're identifying is the vertex is that highest possible point on the graph and that lowest possible point on the graph because the graph never goes any higher than that spot and the graph never goes any lower than that spot. And so just a quick understanding uh, of what the vertex is, uh, again, being those two red dots there on those parabolas. Now, the other piece about these vertexes is they represent a specific point uh, if it's a high point, it's going to be the maximum. And if it's a low point, it's going to be the minimum. And so we can see this one right here. That's the highest point on that parabola. That's the maximum. Uh, real life application of this would be like profit in a business. We want to maximize our profit. We want to make as much money as possible. And the one next to it uh, is a low point. And so that would be a minimum. That would be the lowest possible number uh, that falls on that graph. A real life example would be like, again, in business, we want to minimize our cost. And so uh, that's the vertex. That's the maximum and the minimum. And the last piece that we need from this is there is a formula for the vertex. Just a way for us to find what the vertex is of any parabola. And that formula is going to be negative b over 2a. OK, we'll use that quite a bit in the lesson. Um, it's something that I would just write down in notes and have. It's one of those things that I've used it enough that I memorized it. But I don't know, kind of a waste of time to memorize things, in my opinion, if you can write them down and have notes. So again, the vertex formula, finding the minimum or the maximum of any parabola will be negative b over 2a. The next piece we want to talk about is whether a parabola opens up or opens down and what causes the parabola to have that behavior. And so if a parabola opens up or sorry, opens down is what we'll start with. It's the leading term that tells us whether it opens up or opens down. So it will always be that number right there that tells us if it opens up or if it opens down. If that number is negative, the parabola is going to open down. And then similarly, if we just make one change to the example that I made up there and we make that leading term, uh, the, the negative 2x, we switch it to a positive 2x. Now, since that leading term right there is positive, that parabola is going to open up. And so those are just some general notes to get us started uh, with today's lesson. Uh, I believe that I, I'm going to send a message, but uh, I'm separating this lesson out into multiple videos because um, it's kind of a long one. So. I hope this is helpful, and I hope you have an awesome day.